What's the best form builder tool that you've used so far for your business? Be it for customer satisfaction surveys, employee satisfaction surveys, sales inquiry management, or for your event registrations. And if you've not been using a form builder tool, then you're missing out on an efficient way to collect data from customers, employees, or prospective customers because forms let you link your inputs to spreadsheets for easy analysis, easy data collection, and it helps you eliminate a lot of manual work and errors in compiling data. So in this video, I'll take you through three best form builder tools. So let's get started. So the first is Microsoft Forms. The URL is forms.office.com. The link is in the description. This is the opening page where you get to explore templates. You can start a new form. You can start a new quiz. You can import a form. Importing a form will be part of a separate video. So if you want me to make a video on that, comment below. Then you have your forms, recent, my forms, fill forms. So I have two forms here which I had created. For this demo, for all the three form builder tools, we would use a sales inquiry form. So I have already created that. This is how the sales inquiry form looks like in Microsoft Forms. So I'll just take you through. It's a very short form name, company, designation, email, contact number, services, and remarks. And it lets you add different types of questions. For example, a multiple choice question, text, rating. You can ask them to rate on a scale of one to five, one to 10, or even subjective uh, rating parameters, you could have a date, ranking. So a different uh, net promoter score question is already there. You could add different sections in the form. So, but uh, we've taken these sample questions as a demo to compare all the three form builder tools. I'll take it to the style. The style setting is what I like in Microsoft Forms. So here you could set the style uh, for your form. So you could use the headers, which they've already suggested. Uh, you could have uh, image headers, you could have video headers uh, that makes it look great. For example, if I select this video header, you'll have a video playing or when somebody fills up the form, it may slow down the form a little bit, but it's just a good functionality to have. Uh, you could customize the header. Uh, you could go ahead and you can upload your own images. If you want to add a branded image or something which is more relevant to the form, you could go ahead with that. I selected this because this looks really good and clean. And then you have different layouts. This is one layout. This is another. This is another. I like this one because it places the form, the header, and the form side by side, which looks good. Uh, and Microsoft Forms really looks good on mobile as well. So this is the computer preview. But if you click on mobile, this is how it looks on mobile. It says an inquiry form. Then we have a short message. You click on start now. And this is the form which the users could fill. And well, let's look at the responses. So if you click on view responses, one, you get an online summary of all the forms. So, so far, there are four responses to this. Average time taken was 42 seconds. And you have the details of all the responses so wherever possible, wherever relevant. You have a graphical representation. And you could link it to a spreadsheet, which is the most important functionality for any online form that you should be able to link it to a spreadsheet, download it in a spreadsheet format for analysis. So here you have see the spreadsheet, which has been created automatically for this form. So here I have all the details here. I could add more columns here for actions to be taken. Uh, for example, this is a sales inquiry management form. So I could add different columns for the follow-ups, for the status of the lead and remarks columns. So that can be shared with my entire sales team. And as and when customers fill up the form, we'll get notifications on the spreadsheet here and we'll start following up and start closing deals for the company. So Microsoft Forms is easy to create, very easy. You just need to go ahead click on new form or a new quiz. You could select from the templates available or you could start with a blank form or you could import a form. The settings are really good. And the, uh, the header, the layouts, you have a lot of options. You could add text image headers. You could add video headers. And the form is very responsive, be it for uh, desktops or be it for mobile phones. So this is how Microsoft form works. If you've used Microsoft Form before, if you have some recommendations, please comment below. Or if you have any questions on how to use or for specific use cases, 
Again, you could comment below. Let's move on to the second form builder tool. The second form builder tool that we will review today is Google Forms, one of the most widely used form builder tools. So this is the homepage, uh, docs.google.com slash forms. The link is in the description. So you could see you have an option to start a new form as a blank form. Plus you also have a template gallery to choose from. And there are a lot of templates that you could choose from, right from time of request to event feedback to auto form, work request, job application. Uh, there are some personal use cases, education use cases, but we will just like Microsoft Forms, create a blank form, which I've already created a same like Microsoft form, I have created a sales inquiry form. The same questions, sales inquiry form, the header is there, the description. Then you have the same questions, name, company, designation, email, contact number, services to choose from, where you can make multiple selection and then a remarks column. You could go ahead and you can add more questions and you have all the options to choose from, multiple choice questions, a linear scale, rating, multiple choice grid, paragraph, short answer. We don't need this right now, so let's remove this. Uh, to customize it, it's again easy. You could go ahead and you could change the theme. So you need to click on this color palette here. You could go ahead and change the color uh, depending on your brand color. I'll choose a little red because that's the color of my font. If you want to add an image, you need to upload an image here. Uh, there is no pre-uploaded images like we had in Microsoft form, but you could go ahead and you can create an image on Canva or multiple tools and upload an image. If you want an image header, you can customize the font as well. Uh, if you want to go ahead and check the settings, then you need to click on settings here. So you can make this as a quiz. Do you want to collect email addresses? If you select this as collect, then the person needs to be signed into his or her Gmail account. For a sales inquiry management form, we could make it as do not collect and add an email question like we've already added here. If it's an internal survey where employees are using a Google Workspace account, you can make it as collect email addresses because employees will be logged in and then do not have to manually enter the email addresses. Uh, and then you can limit to one response or you could let it uh, be open so customers can submit as many responses for surveys. Or you can limit it to just one response or even registrations, you can limit to one response. And there are some few standard settings there. Uh, now the form is live, so you have the responses here, but let's just look at the preview of the form. So here you can click on preview. So this is the form that you would get. It looks similar on mobile as it's very responsive. So depending on you using on a laptop or a tablet or a phone, the form is completely responsive, very easy to fill, very neat design, good seamless design. And the responses, just like Microsoft Forms, you get an online summary of the responses. So here also we have four responses. So you have the options for all the questions. And again, wherever applicable, uh, you have a graphical representation, like for designation, we have two owners, one director, one vice president. And for the services required, again, we have two inquiries for each, SEO, to SMM2 website development too. Uh, you also get an option to look at the responses question wise. So we have seven questions. So we have the option to look at each question at once. And then you also can view in sheets. So here is the sheet. The sheet uh, option from Google looks better than the Microsoft Forms option. So here you could see the four options are here. And again, you could go ahead and you can add as many columns as you want to track the follow-up on each of the entries. So Google Forms, again, like Microsoft Forms, is easy to use, comes with a lot of inbuilt templates that you could choose from. You could create a form or a quiz from blank. Uh, easy to share, it's responsive, and easily links with Google Spreadsheet uh, for analysis and tracking. You can download this, and whenever you are done with the purpose of using the form, you could go ahead and you could unpublish the form. So this was the second form builder tool, which is as easy as the first one. So both Microsoft and Google are easy to use, easy to set up, easy to link to a spreadsheet for analysis. Now let's go ahead and let's check out the third form builder tool. So JotForm is the third form builder tool that we are going to review today. This is the home page. Once you sign in, this is what you get. And JotForm has a lot of options. One, this is a freemium 
form builder tool unlike google and microsoft where you have a lot that you can do with a free plan jotform comes with a freemium plan so once you click on create it asks you how would you like to start nitesh that's uh, my name because i'm signed into jotform right now and there is so much more that you could do with jotform so form is what we are concerned about today so we could create form we could create an ai agent this is interesting this i may want to recall a demo and show you sometime because AI agents are going to take over uh, the world of work. And there's a lot of hype about AI agent. So I'll make a demo very soon on how to create AI agents. And you can create workflows, you can create apps, tables, reports, and there is so much more. So when you click on forms, you have the option to start from scratch, or use a template, import form. Now there are more than 10,000 pre-made forms. The template gallery of JotForm is immense given that it's a paid software, but we are concerned about testing the sales inquiry form which I've created. Now the form on JotForm looks really good. Uh, the UI is great. Uh, you could see this is the setting that I've chosen. The same form which we've used on Microsoft and Google sales inquiry form, name, company, designation, email, phone numbers, services, and remarks. We can go ahead and add as many questions like we had added below. So you need to click on add element and uh, you have heading, full name, email addresses. Then you have the basic elements, short text, long text, paragraph, drop down. But you could also add products here. So if you are an e-commerce company, and you want to get product orders, you could go ahead and add a product. So I'll show you that in a separate demo on how to use a form to get online orders. And there are payment fields, there are widgets that you could use, but a lot of them would be uh, for the premium plans because the number of submissions in the free plan is only limited to 100 a month. So this is how the form looks like. You could go ahead and you could change the design very easily. Uh, if you want to change the color scheme, you could change the color scheme as per your brand or as per your liking. Uh, there's an advanced designer here. Let's check what that's about. I've not checked this before, so I'm just testing it as I record the demo. So, okay, so we can add a background image. Or we could uh, have different layouts. We had a form logo, form options. That's not something that we are interested in right now. So uh, let's leave this. Uh, we also have an option to update the CSS. That's for somebody who is technically sound, uh, but we don't need that right now. Let's go with the basic form. Uh, then we have the styles option here. So the form with the label alignment, but the form is very responsive. Then you could choose the theme here. Uh, and then you have the final option of a layout. So you could either have all questions in a single form, or you could have a single question per page where the prospect fills up each question and then clicks on next to go on to the next page that that has very limited use case. So this looks good. Uh, let's look at the preview of the form. The form looks really great. So this is the preview on a desktop. You also have the preview on phones. So how it would look on phones in a vertical position or in a horizontal display. You also have the tablet previews. So it's very responsive. It will look good in all screen sizes and customers could fill it. And the best part is the response sheet. So JotForm creates a table for all the responses. You could hear I have submitted four responses here and the formatting looks really great. It's better than Google Forms and Microsoft. But as I said, since it's a freemium software and it charges you for more than 100 submissions, uh, it has to offer more and it is not disappointing. Uh, now this table actually would work like a CRM. You could go ahead and you could add more columns here to track the follow-up actions. And then you could go ahead and download the entire option uh, for sharing it to somebody. So this table, uh, like just like Google Sheets and Microsoft uh, Excel online version, this table uh, in jot form would act like a CRM for analyzing, working and following up on your form responses. So jot form looks great. It's a really good form builder tool. Uh, I'll just go ahead and I'll show you the pricing ones because jot form is a freemium, as I said, unlike Microsoft and Google, where you can do a lot in the free plan itself. But if you have 
uh, a business use case, a real business use case that justifies having advanced forms, then dot form looks a really good option. So here you have starter, bronze, silver, gold, and enterprise plans. In the starter form, which is the free form, you could have five forms per account and you could have 100 monthly submissions. So if you're doing a small survey where you know the submissions are going to be less than 100 a month, then you should definitely go with JotForm. It works great. But if you have a larger requirement, then obviously you could go with Microsoft and Google. But if you upgrade, so if you pay around $20 a month, built annually at $234, you get 24, 25 forms and the limit is 1,000 monthly submissions. To choose as per your business requirement, but all these three form builder tools are really easy to use. And uh, the responses are analyzed, are stored either in sheets or in tables, making it easier to work on your follow-up actions. So that was our uh, brief demo and review of the three best form builder tools, Microsoft Forms, Google Forms, and JotForm. JotForm is more of a freemium option. The free plan has a limit of five forms and more importantly, 100 monthly submissions. So you got to choose accordingly. All three work well. Designing the forms is easier. There are a lot of templates. JotForm has the maximum number of templates designed for every use case. Even Google has a lot of template options. Microsoft has fewer options, but those work for general and more common use cases. And you can always go ahead and design forms from scratch. So uh, these are my ratings for all the three Microsoft, Google and JotForm. Go ahead, try them all. Trying them is free. Uh, if you have any questions on a specific use case, or if you want to uh, ask about a particular use case or for your business, which one is best, what to use, you could go ahead and comment below. Or if you want to have a personal conversation, you, my website link is there in the description. Go ahead, fill up the contact form, and I'll respond to you at the earliest. Thank you so much.